Hey guys, this is Kami. I'm going to be showing you a kind of quick and to the point tutorial on how to do um, these face portraits for RPG Maker VX Ace or I suppose VX2 or whatever RPG Maker. We're just going to be editing graphics. And I got this middle aged lady here. And I'm going to be splicing her hair with this lady. I would suppose uh, royalty. I'm going to call her Duchess. And the first thing I want to do is try to isolate that graphic by itself. So what I'm going to be doing right now is first is to cut the graphics in half. So you see, go ahead and see the width and the length of it. And now we slice it in half. Now you notice that she is in the top right corner. So again, we want to try to isolate it. The graphics itself is only 96 pixels by 96 pixels. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Make sure it's set to pixels percent, not whatever else. It needs to be 96 pixels by 96 pixels. Do that and go to proceed and yep, see she's isolated now. Let's go ahead and make it a little bit larger. Now let's go ahead and we need to see our layers. That's a huge thing with this tutorial is you have to have your layers. So we're going to use swatches too just for the heck of it. Put it over to the sides. But the layers, you need to keep them straight. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and patch it, or paste it, excuse me, <laughs> patch it. And this doesn't look too hot right now, but we will try to get it so it's looking a little bit better. And right now I'm just trying to guideline it and see where it should be lined up in the thing so it'll kind of go the right way. The important, one of the important things about doing when you're putting these two graphics together is to make sure they're compatible. So if you have somebody who's like looking straight on at you and you have somebody who has a three-quarter view, probably not going to match up. So. Anyway, see what I did was I made the um, op op I say opacity uh, a lot less so we can kind of see what's underneath it. And so what's underneath is going to be the original Young Duchess uh, picture, but we want to make sure it's lined up. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to erase the stuff that's in the hairline because we want to see the hair. And you notice that right now the, um, the old lady face is paste it on top of our young lady face, so that's the reason we have to um, kind of go through and edit it back. So let's go ahead and save it. Okay, see that looks better. It's already looking kind of a little bit better. Okay. Make sure it's cleaned up around the edges a bit. So that's always important to make sure it's clean. It's looking pretty clean. see what's going on over here and let's go ahead and peel back the opacity. We want to let her um, her hair go through. We want the hair to be over the face so let's go ahead and get that in and we're going to have to use a slightly smaller brush here and reveal that piece of hair. And after we've done that Does that look better? Okay. Take a look at it, zoom out a little bit, and that's how it's going to look. We're still not anywhere near done, but... Oh, now we see her hair strand there. That's good. have to be zooming in and zooming out a lot because some just because something looks right zoomed in doesn't mean it's gonna look correct I don't see well I didn't think I want that so control alt Z is your friend because that will step backward if you do something you quite don't like I mean it's easier than going to edit and then go back step backward 
let's go ahead and change her mouth. I really don't like that big grinning smile, so let's go ahead and get rid of that. You notice that I just picked up the color of the skin. And guys, notice that I changed my layers. I'm back at the face layer, not at the hair layer. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. So it looks pretty clean. We did a good job. And let's go find... smiling, but it's more subdued. So this big, huge grin. So let's grab that and go ahead and copy it. And let's go back to our other file and go ahead and paste it. Bam! And move it. I'm gonna have a feeling this is gonna be tricky. See how that looks there. Like I said, you just have to kind of do it and do it. Hmm. Okay. Let's go ahead and let's move it. Does that look better? I'm gonna have to monkey around with this until this looks like it should, like I think we want it to. It's important that things line up correctly so it really you're trying to give the illusion that it's not mishmashed and kind of Frankenstein cobbled together. Okay, does that look better? I think that might be matched up now. I think that's where I want to keep it. Okay, so we'll leave it like that. It's not looking half bad as it is things that we can do is we can go ahead and colorize different things to get it to look a little bit different than the original um, drawing here. So we make sure we're on the correct layer when we do this. And ooh. Okay. I don't like that. Control Z. Let's go ahead and ooh. Crap. Am I on the wrong layer? I think I'm on the wrong layer here. That's what happens when you do it over, over the thing. Okay, let's go select the correct layer again. Keep track of your layers, guys. Don't do like that. Okay, see. Now we can actually see the color underneath it. We're going to do this kind of carefully so it doesn't start to look weird and mishued. Okay, there. And right there. Okay, now she has brown eyes instead of blue. Let's see how that looks. <coughs> Looking good. Let's scroll down a little bit. And let's see what we got going on over here. Well, maybe I should put a little, like, lip gloss on here, except... Am I on the long, wrong layer? Let's go back to the lip layer, that's the reason.
part of the lamp. pretty good. It meshes pretty well. It doesn't necessarily look like uh, Frankenstein together where we throw off these body parts because we have the middle-aged lady's face, the old lady's lips, and the young royal lady's hair and, I would say body, but torso. Bust. Eh, that's not that good. I was going to see if I could just change that pocket, not lock it, but little jewel stone color, it doesn't look that great. I think I'll just leave it be. Um, let's go ahead and merge visible, so it's going to condense down all the layers that we had separated um, into one. And let's go ahead and go over here to our pixels, our canvas size, and if you want to be able to select this image out of them, it's got to be the standard um, size which is width of 384 by height of 192, so we've got the correct size now. Now let's go ahead and save it in our files. And we might have to import it later, um, depending on which um, game thing you're putting in. So anyway, you guys know how to do that by now, I would hope. And there we go. <laughs> 